Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the Racer Star BL1108 4000 kV motor. In this video I'm going to test it on my Moto Frost stand and after that head the doors and test it out using my Banzai 2 inch micro quadcopter. The BL1108 motor is available in two kV options. The one I have is the 4000 kV version which according to Racer Star is compatible with 2 and 3S lighter batteries and the second version is a 6800 kV version, which is compatible with 1 and 2S diaper batteries. The weight of the motor is 8.54 grams, and it is using 24 AWG silicon wires with a length of 6 cm. Now I'm going to bench test the BR1108 motor using two 2.5 two and 3 inch propellers, and I'm going to push it a little bit and try it with a 4S diaper battery, and I wonder if it's going to survive the test. So as you could just see, the Moto was burnt after using it with a 4S type of battery and a 3 inch propeller. However, it was nice to see that it can handle 4S type of batteries using 2 and 2.5 and inch propellers. I'm going to put a link down below to the full test, so if you'd like you can check it out. And according to my test, I can tell you that this motor seems like a pretty powerful option, especially if you're going to use it with 3 and 4S type of batteries. The next thing I've done is to mount the Racer Star BR1108 motors on my Tomokuwatts Banzai and I can tell you that using two and three S type of batteries this quadcopter felt a little bit underpowered and I could hover only at around 40% throttle. In addition I got a lot of jello in the video and the cause for that is probably the lens of the Runcam Split Mini 2 and I can tell you that if you are going to build a 2 inch quadcopter probably the 6800 kV version is going to be a better choice but if you're going to build a bigger quadcopter, I think that these motors will provide you with plenty of thrust, especially if you're going to use them with 3 or 4S type of batteries. I hope you will enjoy the rest of the video. As always, if you have any questions about the Racer Star BR1108 motors, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.